Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, here at the Matter Hackers booth at Bay Area Maker Fair 2017, and I'm here next to Frank Ippolito. Now, Frank, I, to be honest, I, I knew of you from that crazy, awesome sci-fi little reality show called Face Off. That's where I first saw you. And uh, what's great about, I wanted to say, what's great about that show is we have, my wife and I have three young kids, and we show them that show because they know that these monsters that they see on TV then aren't real, they're people in makeup. How has the reception been since leaving that show? Um, well, you know, it's a reality show, so it's not really real. Like, we don't have any control over how they make us look. And uh, first season, I kind of acted like an idiot anyways. They did kind of do that to you, didn't they? It was partially my fault, too. But I learned from my mistakes. Uh, came back and had a much better time the second time I was on the show in like the fifth season or something. But now after that, um, I have a great relationship with Tested.com, doing a lot of projects with Adam Savage, and I get to show a little bit more of what it really is like to work with me and to do the things that I do. So it's nice. Well, let's let's dive a little bit deeper into that. You are working with Adam Savage and Tested.com. They're good people. I've done. I did a printer build with Simone. You, you have some printers in your shop. Can you talk about what you have? Um, right now, the two that we're using most of the time is an Ultimaker 3 Extended, and then we just got this 3DP. It's a 3D platform. It's a meter by meter by half meter build volume. And um, we've been trying to build a lot of really big stuff on that, and one of the projects we're, we're really focusing on is uh, um, the Martian spacesuit replica that I'm building with Adam. I love that movie. So it's, it's one of our favorite movies. FBFX, the guys that made those spacesuits, um, like I love all of their work and these, these, these suits are built wonderfully. So getting to try and reverse engineer that and then figure out how to build it like kind of on a, like a no budget budget, um, <laughs> it's really fun. And you know, luckily we have this giant 3D printer and I'm able to print some negative molds. Like right now we're printing the negative molds for the shoes. So we're gonna rotocast material inside of, of a mold that's been printed. Oh, cool. um, so then there'll be videos coming out on Tested about all this stuff. Um, we're printing a bunch of the helmet parts and like so there's a lot of stuff that we're we're able to use uh, these big printers with so then of the original Martian suit how much of it was 3d printed um a, a lot of parts were printed and then body shopped um, I know that the the chest harness was sculpted I'm pretty sure the backpack was sculpted um, so we're, we're using a lot of different techniques to, to build the whole suit but 3d printing is definitely like a big part of it okay and What's great is you're using 3D printers as a tool along with other prop making techniques. Uh, how can you speak to that? How well does 3D printing work as a tool in a, in a collaboration with the other types of prop making uh, tools that you may use? Well, I think like as you learn the strengths and weaknesses of each tool, you learn when and where to use them. 3D printing or laser cutting or you know, foam construction, like none of those things are like the end all. There's a lot of people that, that, they, that that tool may click with them, and so they use it all the time. Um, but I, I like to use the right tool for the right job. Um, so it, it you know it depends how things work into your workflow and what you're comfortable with. Well, Frank, how can people find out more about what you're doing right now if they wanted to? Where can they go? How can they find you? You're on Twitter, obviously, Frank Ippolito. What else? What else can they do to to find you online? Uh, yeah, Twitter and Instagram. I'm both at Frank Ippolito. Um, I have a whole bunch of regular videos that come out on Tested.com. Um, and then uh, I have a Facebook slash Ippolito.Frank. So, of course. Did someone steal the other one? Must have. I don't know. Frank, thanks for taking some time to talk with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Take care.